Your news in brief for Tuesday the 7th of February. Fagin of the Muslim cleric world, Abu Qatada, is said to be released on bail later today despite Home Office disapproval. However, the European Court of Human Rights have decided that he is indeed human and therefore he has rights. Ulster Unionist Ian Paisley, 85, has been moved into a private room in the intensive care unit of Royal Ulster Hospital. Although still unconscious, other patients apparently have complained that he even breathes too loudly. Ed Miliband is set to call for a debate in the House of Commons to discuss bankers' bonuses. Are they relevant in these austere times? No, they're not. £4.1 billion pounds is what we're paying too much for our utility charges, say which price consumer index. On the same day, the BP announced a £15 billion pound profit for last year, despite polluting the entire planet. Which begs the question, are we paying too much for our oil? Yes, we are. 77 years ago today, the phrase passing go becomes common form as Macintosh released the board game Monopoly. And celebrating a birthday today, Eddie Izzard turns 50. And 200 years ago, Charles Dickens was born. Dickens would go on to write such classics as Tale of Two Cities, Pickwick Papers and Oliver Twist, depicting a London and a Britain in austere times with a gap between rich and poor ever growing with the injustice and the suffering. It's pretty hard to imagine. This has been your News in Brief for Tuesday the 7th of February.